team i hope that you guys enjoy that little trading session i ended up performing overall uh pretty well today uh, i traded for about from start to finish if i'm not mistaken about an hour and a half to almost two hours uh, i do want to say that almost the first hour of trading were all very poor trades i didn't see there to be a very clear direction on natural gas so during the learn plan profit live trading session i really began to pay attention to crude oil i saw a pattern where i thought crude oil was an overall descending pattern it was overbought so i went into the inverse with a very very light position it was on dwt i ended up adding more to my position size when it was going according to plan and then it quickly changed direction. So this is a perfect example where, you know, my bread and butter is definitely natural gas. It's what I tend to do best in, right? Today's all, even a perfect example for that with DGAS. I made over a thousand dollars day trading, you know, DGAS loan. Uh, but I saw an opportunity on DWT, therefore the inverse of a crude oil ETN. And the cool thing about that is that although it did not play out according to plan because I was very careful with my position size and because I was not going in too aggressive, it was, it was kind of fun. It was enjoyable. Yes, it didn't go according to plan, but I was able to manage my risk. I was able to get out. And then when things were going according to plan, I averaged up. I added more to my position size, therefore giving me a little bit more momentum to at least end up being able to come out from a red position uh, now to the green. So I literally think how much did I make on DWT? I made $34 on DWT and I probably spent my most time just trying to get out of that little hurdle. But at the end of the day, one of the things that I picked up on was that I just wasn't working well with DWT. It's not that it's impossible. It's not that it's not meant for you. It just means that um, I just wasn't working well with how quickly it was changing direction. And because of that, after I closed out that position, I just simply began to focus on DGAS, which is again, my bread and butter coming out on top with a little bit over a thousand dollars profit. A lot of you guys probably noticed if you guys paid attention at market open, uh, but there's a very big market halt, meaning that the market stopped trading for 15 minutes. Uh, and this was pretty much the first 15 minutes from market open. Uh, shortly after that, we began to see the overall market begin to recover. Uh, crude oil began to change direction. Natural gas began to change direction. But now we're just seeing a lot of consolidation and the same thing is happening with the overall market. One of these friendly little reminders is that I would really encourage you to look a little bit more into not just what news was shared over the weekend, but also what plans to be shared within the next series of days. Again, there is no question that we are being affected by this news. So one of the very simple steps that we can take is to understand what's to come. So if we do have open positions on whatever it is that you are trading, you can then ask yourself, will your position then be affected? And is it in your best interest to maybe close out the position before this news gets announced? One of the last things that I wanna share with you is, so due to interest rates dropping to nearly zero, one of the things that I'm gonna be focusing on today is reaching out to a series of lenders uh, and inquiring about refinancing in the series of properties that I own here in Arizona. This will save me a couple hundred dollars every single month. And because of this, and I don't want to say once in a lifetime opportunity, but because interest rates are so competitive right now, I wanted to ask you, would you guys be interested? I know our channel is not solely focused on just you know, investing in real estate. Uh, but I feel like a lot of you guys would be open to the idea of me taking the information that I learned and the interest rates and the competitive interest rates that I get offered and to see if it's in my best interest to refinance my house now or to actually hold off or not refinance altogether. You guys know that I made a very similar video a couple months ago. So I wanted to ask you if you would like me to share my experience and what it's like to refinance with interest rates being close to zero, then let me know in the comment section and just drop a thumbs up and I would be more than happy to make that video for you guys. But again, one of the last things that I wanna remind you is that if direction is unclear, if you're seeing a lot of inconsistencies with current market conditions, watching your position size and meaning that you keep your position size a little bit smaller than what you normally trade with. So if you trade with normally $1,000, instead of going all in with $1,000 because of the volatility and because of the inconsistency and unclear direction, then maybe trading with you know $100 or $200, a fraction of what you normally trade with, so you can do a better job managing your risk and stay up to date with overall, again, market volatility. The other thing 
thing that you can do is, again, if you are scared, if you are afraid, if you are not informed enough on what is going on, sometimes one of the best things that you can do is simply stay away from the market, collect your thoughts, take time, build a quality watch list and allow an opportunity to present itself. And again, friendly reminder, you are not here to prove yourself to anyone. Don't force a trade, don't get FOMO, ignore how much money everyone else is either making or losing. At the end of the day, that does not matter, nor should it affect you. Prepare and plan for a better future. So all that means is take time, inform yourself, collect your thoughts, and set up a game plan on when it would make sense to actually start investing your hard-earned money. So I really hope that I earned your thumbs up in this video. I would love to stay connected. Again, be sure to join our free Facebook group with the largest day trading group on Facebook with over 246,000 members. And that's gonna be that first link down below. You heard me talk about them in this video. If and only if you see value in what it is that I share on YouTube and you would like to work with me on a closer basis, literally the only team that I work with on a closer basis and that gets to watch me trade live every single day is the Learn Plan Profit Group. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group and to see if it's a good fit for you, click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about it, see what we have to offer, and and ask yourself if it's a good fit for you. Like always guys, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.